Hello, hello. Welcome hello. to the quarterly town ball, town hall Zoom call. <laughs> I love that title. That is a great ring to it. How are you, Elijah? Hi, I'm doing great, Grant. How are you? I am doing you good. Go. Are you back home in uh, the Medford area? I I actually live in uh, in Springfield, but yeah, we're oh. uh, <laughs> tonight. Uh, we're we're done with school for now. We're having a break for a while. Okay, cool. Yeah. With the family, Am I not flipping over. That's very awkward. Hi, Brent. Hi. Apparently, doesn't like me doing this. Uh, your screen might be locked, like in yeah, one position. The... I'm trying to figure that one out. It's very strange. <clears throat> because it's fine when I do this. Hey! There you go. You're good. <laughs> nice. So there we go. Yeah, we've got a good group. Wait, waiting on Jones. Jones is coming in. There he is. Hey. How's it going, everybody? Hello. Been a while, Lucian. <laughs> Yeah, it has. Good to see you. Yeah. Lucien. Thanks for coming, Bill. Hey, thanks for having me. Nice how's the, to meet you, Bill. How's the snow up there? <laughs> well, it's warmer today. It's um, it's a blistering 22. <laughs> well, I'm up here in New Hampshire. We had eight, eight, eight inches of snow the last few days. We had 30 degrees today. <clears throat> and we're looking at five days of winter storms coming up here at Cannon Mountain. Fun. We just had our five inches of snow that is now almost all melted in in uh, just south of Portland here in Newburgh. So. I skied uh, nine miles today. Uh, mostly on the groomers, but you know, there was a mix of uh, pack powder on top, uh, layered a few inches, so it was really nice to uh, get the early fine. legs in for going west. We, we like to go to Utah, uh, I've been to Oregon also. Yeah, it's Man. rare that we get snow here, so it was kind of special that it snows let's, on Christmas. Let's talk, let's talk some town ball. Let's see. We might wait about one or two more minutes to see who else gets on, just so that way, once we start, most of the people will be there. It is Hello, so Chris. Good to see everybody. Oh my goodness. Good to see All you, in Chris. The same place. You've got a nice library behind you there. Are you at your house in uh, Staten? Are you, are you, uh, do you have a sore throat? I can't hear you. He's just muted, it looks like. That's good to see everybody. I am um, all in one place. I know some of you guys don't know each other, so this is pretty cool. Yeah. You guys all meet. We got one more coming in. Mark Sogmonian. What in the world? <clears throat> Hello, Mark. <laughs> or is that Olivia? Uh, it's probably Olivia. There's Jimmy's Olivia. here. Oh, my goodness. Blast from the past. Look <laughs> at this. Jimmy made it. Hey, Olivia. How are you? Good. How are you? Really good. Is that your brother on too? Is he on? Yeah, he's on. Me. How are you? I'm good. Been a while. Okay, do we want to start, Jones? Sounds yeah, good. Go yes. So, can I talk about? Um, my first play with Tomball here in um, Massachusetts. 
Ray Shaw, who's a uh, emeritus of the Boston Blues, uh, sorry, Bristol Blues. And as I mentioned to Grant, we threw a game in between two nine innings of 1864 baseball. In an interleague squad, we have 22 people on our team and we played nine innings with our families and friends in the background. We had a smoker cooking striped bass, bluefish from our coastal area, and oysters on the half shell. We fed lunch and then invited the crowd to play town ball in a 60 field, a 60 foot field that would be 60 square, pitching from 30 in the middle. And then we finished it with a uh, another second nine innings of inter interleague play with a fat belly. And that's how I left it with Grant. And that was my exposure to the game. Yeah, I believe Jeffrey is referring to the original Massachusetts game, um, which I don't even know if anyone other than Jones and maybe a couple others from University High School have even played or even know how it works because oh, everyone Will, else Will, here. Will Gagian knows how to play, right? You were part of that original group, weren't you? Yeah, I was part of the original crew. We, we played all the variations we could possibly get our hands on with documented rules enough until we got bored of them and made our own. <laughs> Looks like we got one more person coming in. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll definitely um, we'll get to uh, more of uh, how to incorporate uh, some games later this summer with uh, maybe like a back to back with the 19th century version in the 21st century um, later on in uh, the summer. but. Uh, before that, uh, we just want to welcome a few people, and we also want to do a recap of events that have happened this last year that we're really proud of. So um, we wanted to start by uh, just going around and introducing uh, the motherboard members. These are people who we have sort of regionally designated as uh, people who can get players and games going for us in particular areas. So if you don't know me, uh, my name is Grant Moore. I am originally from Oregon, but I recently moved to Southern Michigan. Um, Daniel Jones and I are basically trying to get Tumble off the ground, not just as a sport, but also as a business. We've been doing a lot of different things with games, with our balls, with our zones, um, and we've been making quite a bit of connections, especially in the last year. So um, nice to meet you if I haven't met you before. Um, and uh, We'll go next to Jones. Good to see everybody here tonight. I really appreciate you guys coming. Or morning, if you're Jerry, right? Jerry's from Taiwan over there. Good to see you, Jerry. So um, I am Daniel Jones. I am the founder of 21st Century Tomball. I think I know everybody here except for uh, Mr. Garth. I've never met before. Um, it's good to see you all. Um, so yeah, like Grant said, we're trying to push Tomball nationally, even internationally. Um, and Garth is right. This game is based on the Massachusetts version of Town Ball. And like Will said, we took the original rules and projected them to what we believe the game would have become if it had won out over the New York game as a national pastime. And so we're here to see what we can do to get Town Ball going um, initially on a national scale and then hopefully beyond. So, yeah. Um, and we have eight motherboard members. So Grant and I, and who, who's next, Grant? It's Tommy. I mean, he's not here yet. You want to just introduce Tommy? Well, oh, we can have yeah. Tommy choose himself when he comes, I guess. Okay. Yeah, he'll be here around 530. Uh, Tristan. Hey, so my name is Tristan. Um, I live in Oregon, uh, Newburgh, where um, Grant was. And so uh, I'm a student at Veritas, a senior this year. Um, and I, for three years, I was the, or for, yeah, for, so for three years, I was the president of uh, Veritas Town Ball. Uh, now, this year I'm the vice president, but uh, they asked me to become a motherboard member over the summer, and I, I agreed. I love the game. Um, at Veritas, there's a lot of enthusiasm for the game. In fact, we have a tournament coming up here soon, so um, it's been a lot of fun. Lucian knows all about that tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have um, Jimmy. Jimmy Sanborn. Hey, guys. Uh, so my name is Jimmy. Uh, I am a 
UHS graduate, so I'm from Fresno, still in Fresno. Um, I think I'm the official umpire for the league. Uh, so I, I do like uh, playing, but I also do like officiating and making sure that everything's running smoothly with the rules that we have set up. And so um, I do want to apologize for my absence for the past little while. Uh, just with the season that it is, I've been really busy and I haven't had a whole lot of time. So after the new year, I should be coming back pretty strong. So nice to meet you guys. Um, is AJ here? No. Okay. Uh, AJ, um, who is uh, – you want to describe AJ real quick, Daniel? Yeah. Ajit, he is a professor at Fresno State. Um, he's been there for, I think, about 10 years. Uh, he is from Sri Lanka. He plays cricket. Um, he got introduced to town ball. And for those who know cricket, know the following that cricket has. It's very rare for a cricket person to say anything is better than cricket, and he admits town ball is better than cricket. So he and his son both play, um, and they, they both love town ball. And Ethan was one of my students at University High School as well. And AJ is a friend of mine. The other one uh, is Brad Visaki. Brad was also a former University High School student. And for those who don't know, whenever we say University High School, we are referring to a uh, college prep school in Fresno, California. That's where Daniel Jones taught math for many years and where Town Ball started. That's right. um, just to give you some context here, and probably half the people here, maybe less than half on the call, are, uh, know Daniel from that time period. So. Um, Brad is not here tonight. Brad's one of our motherboard members, uh, recently inducted again. He was there before. Um, he's probably, um, he's probably responding to a 911 call right now <laughs> if he's not here. So he's a first responder. And then uh, Joshua Treesman, do you want to describe Josh, Daniel? He's not here either. Yeah, Josh couldn't make it tonight. He had to work tonight. Um, Jim, you want to describe Josh? You probably know him a lot better than I do. Josh Treesman is a fantastic guy. He is uh, lightning in a bottle, life of the party. Very, uh, very intense, but also at the same time, very laid back guy. Um, he is very passionate about town ball, and I do like the way that he uh, represents the game. He is very knowledgeable about the game, and uh, I think that he is uh, perfect for a motherboard position because he really does care about how and where we get this game to go. He wants it to see it grow. So, fantastic guy. Cool. So those are all of our regional people. Uh, you'll notice that most of them are down in the Fresno area, which is good because um, tonight we're going to be talking about any uh, games that we actually are going to have scheduled down on the 99 corridor in the Central Valley of California this June. We picked out dates just a couple days ago, so we're excited about that, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, if maybe we could just go around, uh, and, I, and I, I don't know exactly how we'll do this. I'll probably just type your name in the chat and we can go that way, but we could just talk real quick about what is everyone's connection to 21st Century Town Ball so far. Um, for me, um, I was going to George Fox University in Newburgh, Oregon. I recently graduated and I met Daniel two years ago. Uh, my younger brother was going to the school that he still currently teaches at, Veritas, um, and they were playing a game in the summer and my brother drug me along and I didn't really know, you know, what is this? This sounds weird. I don't know how fun, how much fun it will be. Well, uh, <laughs> to my surprise, I very quickly fell in love with the game. And uh, I, I've become a very good friend of Daniel Jones, and uh, the sport has only grown quite a bit since then. So that's my history with it. Um, Brent, would you like to go next? Sure. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Making sure that it's, in fact, coming through. Okay, cool. Um, I, uh, I'm Brent Townley. I'm from Newburgh as well, uh, or was from George Fox. <laughs> um, and I, so I was part of that, that crew as well and got pull, pulled in by Grant, uh, to go just play town ball on a Saturday. And before you knew it, I was hooked and loved it and wanted to play more and was sad that there weren't more people to play and tried to get as many people out to play as I could. And so, um, it, and then just getting to 
be a friend with Grant, you, 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 you get pulled into town ball. It's just, it's just what happens. And I've loved it. I've loved it. I've loved every bit of it. And so now I'm actually living out in uh, Wenatchee, uh, Wenatchee, Washington, central Washington. Um, and I'm hoping to, in the near future, be able to start a group out there uh, at the school that I teach at, at the classical school that I teach at out there. So we're, 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 we're hopeful. Um, we'll see if that, if that is in the future and uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, Elijah, you wanna go next? For sure, yeah. So the way that I uh, got kind of interested in Town Ball is at George Fox. They uh they have like these um uh these little posters that they put above the urinals called like uh uh the Stall Street Journal or something. Uh and Grant put um town ball posters over those because during COVID nobody changed them for about six months. And so he just put them on top he just put posters on top that he made. And I just remembered uh, I remembered that from way back when, um, and I meant to go to a game, but I never got around to it. Uh, then uh, one day I got a message from Grant. I run this uh, fan page for George Fox Athletics, and uh, Grant messaged it, and he told me, or he was just like wondering like what kind of stuff I covered, and he'd wondered if I, if I would be interested in covering something like Town Ball. So I then I, I you know kind of remembered. All right, I know I remember what this is. Why don't I go see what it's all about? And uh, then I went to a game, and it was pretty addicting. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Jones and and Tristan uh, were there, and uh, they seemed to know a lot about it, and they were really encouraging. So I decided to keep coming back. And that's how I got started. And. I, Thanks, Grant. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Elijah. Elijah has been wonderful. He he's he's been filming our games, and he made a really good one. I just posted the YouTube link that you can check out later. Um, yeah, we really appreciated uh, your love for the game so far, Elijah. Um, Chris Poole. Hello, I am Christopher Poole. I know Grant from high school. Oh way back in middle school. He, uh, he got me introduced to it as uh, the zone builder. Uh, uh. Uh, Chris recently welded a zone for us. Uh, Chris, what type of welding do you do? Uh, steel. <laughs> It varies. Uh, tube, plate, um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll link some uh, photos of what I built exactly. Jones, you were just holding the zone that Chris made. Oh. Yeah, so Chris actually made it detachable so that the top part mm. can stick down into the base. So that way, when you're carrying it, it's not one giant hunk. Oh, my gosh. Finally. <laughs> Jones, we can't hear you. What about now? Very good. There yeah. you go. So, um, you know, Garth doesn't know this, but uh, Will Gould knows this very well. That in the original – I'm sorry, Garth does know this. That in the original Massachusetts game – um, there's no there's no incentive for the batter to swing because there's no strike zone, right? So when we were looking at the game, we said, okay, again, if this game had progressed, what would have happened? And we, we believe a zone is the way to go for town ball because you don't have to run back to home like in baseball. The zone doesn't interfere at all. So in baseball, a zone would work except for the fact that if you're trying to steal home, the zone's right in the way. So the zone in town ball actually is a match made in heaven is what we believe. Yeah, so Chris, uh, he's getting welding certifications at Community College outside of Albany, Oregon right now, uh, and uh, he'll be making more for us in, in this new year. We're, we're hopefully going to actually be able to um, sell them once we can have kits ready to go. So we're 
Chris, we are very thankful for your work because those zones are beautiful. Um, uh, Jones, uh, let's uh, 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 some of your your connections for Fresno. Is it my turn to share? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and then you can introduce I was, uh, the people you know. I, okay, okay. So I was born in I was born in Wisconsin. But I was raised in Taiwan, and so I um, got to know cricket when I was in Taiwan. And I um, was going to try out for the baseball in college, but didn't because of an injury. And so I ended up starting a cricket club. Started a cricket club at Fresno State with um, the University of High School students. And from there, um, did town ball. Um, and so, um, yeah, town ball is my passion at this point. Um, I pretty much swore off any other game just because town ball is the perfect game as far as I'm concerned. has everything I've been looking for in a game for a long time. I, uh, I love the no foul ball aspects of cricket. And um, that's, that's true about town ball. But in cricket, you don't have a lot of base running. And I miss that when I played cricket. And so town ball really has a good blend of those two, the base running and the no foul balls. It's, it's genuinely the best game that I, I've ever played um, in athletics. So, and I know a lot of students feel the same way. Um, I would love to hear from Lucian. It's so good to see you, man. Good to see you too. Um, my name is Lucian. I... Uh, I'm now a junior down at Pepperdine, um, but I helped start the first season of Town Bowl in, I think that was 2018-19 um, at Veritas with Mr. Jones. Um, and we played casually in the fall and then had a little tournament set up um, in the winter and spring, which it sounds like you guys are repeating again this year. And it was a lot of fun. We played indoor mostly then. But it looks like you guys are back to playing outdoor, which is cool to see. Yeah. Yeah, Lucian's very competitive and a very, very good player. Will, can we hear a few, man? One of the original pioneers of this game. Yeah, how's it going, Mr. Jones? Daniel. Um, first time I would have played town ball would have been 2012, or was it 13? Do you remember? 12. 12. 2012. Yeah. Um, I'm a nerd. I'm a drama club playing RuneScape, top of the leaderboards in Halo nerd. But town ball is probably the one sport that I was super excited to play. Was forced into taking your elective by my parents, who didn't want me to go to the uh, tenth drama session in a row. So uh, here I am, stuck learning the history of baseball. But by the end of the the session, I'd met not only one of the most passionate guys I've ever met uh, about everything he does in his life, but also really was able to put my hands on and create a game taking out a lot of the modern frustrations that have come along with all the other crap that's out there nowadays. Nowadays, I spend my time pushing code. Well said. Thank you, Will. Olivia. Good to see you, my fellow mathematician. How are you? I'm good. Um, I've only played town ball once. I'm also from University High School. But since I've only played the game once, my knowledge isn't as extensive as the rest of your guys' probably is. You also served as our secretary for a while, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Our, our, our the Fresno town State. ball club at Fresno State. That's right. That's right. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and your brother Mark is here. Mark, introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Mark. I'm Olivia's uh, younger brother. I've known Mr. Jones ever since 2016. He was my geometry teacher in high school. In high school in Fresno. I've only played town ball once, and I think I'm even less experienced than Olivia. And I unfortunately have not made any contributions to the town ball effort, but it was very fun. And although I wasn't good, I've had a great time with it. Artashis. Hello, I'm Artashis. I've known Jones since 2016 uh, from UHS. I think I played town ball for two seasons, right? Yeah, I think so. You played for my team, I think, both seasons, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. I still have the jerseys. I came back to Fresno and saw them in my closet. Um, and... I really want to help spread town ball, especially in the Bay Area where I go to school. So, yeah.
Bill, you want to talk to us? Yeah, thanks. Um, I've not seen nor played a, a town ball game, but having an uh, email back and forth with uh, Daniel and, uh, and Grant a few times, um, I'm a member of the Vintage Baseball Association. Um, the teams that I've played on have played by rules from 1860 of the vintage game. Um, I lived in Arizona for eight years where I uh, first learned the vintage game. And um, six months ago, seven months ago, my wife and I moved up here to Washington, um, north of, uh, we live in Bellingham, uh, pretty close to the Canada border. And we're trying to bring the vintage baseball movement here. But as a VBBA secretary, I got drift that uh, that uh, Daniel and Grant were planning to um we're, we're not only doing the town ball, but that I believe, Grant, you're going to be one of the uh, presenters at the VBBA conference in April. Is that not correct? Daniel and I will be co-presenting at the Vintage Baseball Association National Conference in April in Detroit. That is correct. That's awesome. And and when I learned about the town ball movement and when I learned that uh, uh, you all were doing this, I figured, well, there, that would make for an interesting – I just – as a baseball fan, I wanted to know more. As a VBBA secretary, I wanted to know more that I could uh, write stories to kind of um, illustrate what you all are doing and, and how it differs um, from the um, from from the old game, uh, the vintage game. So, honestly, um, I think it's exciting what you're doing. Um, I've not had a chance to see a game or play a game, like I said, but um, any opportunity that I would have a chance to see that, I would be really excited for. Um, I can only hope that uh, when we're doing uh, vintage baseball at the VBBA conference in uh, in April, that uh, maybe there'd be a possibility of uh, playing a few innings of the town ball game. I'm not sure if you've had those discussions with the folks who uh, put on the conference, but uh, from where I'm sitting, I sure would love to uh, have an opportunity to play the game as well as the vintage game uh, up at the conference. And that might make for a great opportunity for y'all to expose uh, uh, more people you know, in, in what you're doing. I think that would. I, I think most of these people would say that you don't really know town ball until you've played it. Once you've played it, you're like, oh, wow. Look at all the nods. <laughs> it's just it's just such an addicting game. I think people would say that over and over again. Hey, Jerry, let's introduce you. Jerry is my good friend that I met about two months ago from Taiwan. Taiwan's where I'm from. He lives in Tainan. Jerry, introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Jerry. And uh, uh, since I'm, uh, what? 15 years ago, and I have an article about the lemon pill bowl. So that's why I post on my 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 on my blog. So I show the lemon bowl. It's from I think 1860 something, and I show the bowl to the Taiwanese people 15 years ago. So I just saw a Daniel's text. He left my text around like two years ago, and I just read the message this year. That's why I replied the message to Daniel. I think two months ago. So that's why I found Daniel's. I knew the uh, tumble. Uh, since I'm very interested in uh, baseball history, and also I'm a huge baseball fan. So uh, yes, I I really since I never play a uh, tumble and uh, even I, I said as a feel I never I never see I never played it before. So. I'm very excited to learn the new, it's kind of new, it's kind of oldie, but it's new for me. So I rather to learn the, how to play the tumble and the show the people in Asia, even in Taiwan. So I, yes, I like to transfer the English to uh, Chinese. And uh, mm -hmm. even the, uh, because right now I'm doing the YouTube, I'm a YouTuber right now. So I, would like, I really like to, if, if any opportunity, I can you know, video the, the game and the, the show the people how to play the tumble. I think it's what, what, what I'd like to do and uh, wait till maybe next year. If, if any opportunity, I can go to California to see the, the real game. But due to the COVID-19, I'm not quite sure if uh, any opportunity, I can, I can miss the, your, your game in June. But I'm looking for that. Thank you. Jerry, I saw some of your YouTube videos and you do a really good job filming and editing them. And I can tell you really like uh, this the history of baseball and stuff you do a really good job covering that thank you thank you i appreciate it. and that's coming from a fellow uh, videoer um that's what uh elijah does also so and i'm going to post uh, a link to jerry's um youtube videos you can see it in the chat i just sent it to grant let me try that again jerry we're excited to have you on board thank you so much for, for, for helping thank us you. out appreciate it.
Um, Antonio, you want to introduce yourself? It's good to see you, man. Antonio is a, is a cricket wall of famer at UHS. Can you talk? He might not be able to because he's working right now. So if you can't, that's fine. Okay. I think um, the only people left are Tristan and Gar, or Tristan and Jeffrey, I think. Are we missing anybody? Hey, guys. Uh, I have to get going here pretty soon. You mind if I just jump in real quick? Sure. Yeah. Jimmy. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have to work the half shift tonight, so I'm, I'm going to be out of here in about five minutes. But okay. um, I think the thing that is so drawing about town ball, the thing that is so attractive about it is that it takes – I think we can all agree baseball is an incredibly fun sport. But to anybody who isn't a huge baseball fan, their biggest detractor is, is that it's so boring. And town ball takes all of the fun aspects of baseball, ramps them up to 11, and then adds even more to it. And that's why people, whenever they play town ball for the first time, they absolutely fall in love with it. People who have never even heard of town ball come by, watch a game, they get interested, they play the game, and they say it's the most fun ball game they've ever played. And so it's one of those... It's one of those things where the best way we can ever market the game, the best way we can ever sell the game is just to have people play it. And because the way that it's built to the rules, everything sets it up to be absolutely amazing. And so um, I wholeheartedly believe in what we're doing. I wholeheartedly believe that this is one of the best sports that I think that we can actually play. And uh, if you don't believe me, just come on and play a game and, and we'll get somebody out there. We'll get the ball. We'll get the equipment. We'll, we'll teach you how to do it because it really is an absolutely amazing game. Uh, and I can't stand behind that any more than I just did. So, Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. We got left, Grant. Uh, uh, Jeffrey. Yeah. I just want to touch on what Jimmy said. A little bit from what I interpreted, anyway. <clears throat> I've played vintage since 2010. I've got 42 years of baseball. I coach high school uh, varsity baseball. Uh, I try to abstract the origins of the game into my high school play. But the times I've played, the thousands of innings I've played in vintage, it's all sportsmanship. And the moment this is where I'm touching on what Jimmy said. The day I played town ball, all that went away. You know, it's really true. It, uh, when I played, we had sticks, uh, limbs of trees as the bases, <laughs> sticking vertically, right? And that's how I played the game. There was no space for you to find security. Like in baseball, a base, a bag, whatever, it's like a, like a safe zone. <laughs> town ball was just a stick in the ground and everyone was playing it. Uh, I thought that was great. So that was like truly really like breaking it down to what the game's about, the basics. I like I like sportsmanship, but I love the basics. And what team are you on with the uh, vintage baseball club that you're in, Jeffrey? I, I currently play for the Connecticut Baseball Club of Hartford. This is a Connecticut ball team uh, who play uh, uh, this past summer. I played 22 nine-inning games. I've been with the team, I guess, for four years. Prior to that, seven with the Bristol Blues of Bristol, Rhode Island. Where we took on uh, loads of folks. But uh, I got to say, in all the innings and some great venues and some great uh, opponents. Oh, and I want to say, by the way, I apologize to anyone. Uh, I would like to recognize the women of the game who have contributed to my team and in town ball, for sure, but on our own team, there's a lack of women in the game. But I got to say, in all the innings of vintage, it was the, the town ball game that stands out, definitely, because it, it broke it down. Totally. Totally agree. Uh, Tristan, I don't think we got around to you. Could you give just kind of a brief background you have with the town ball before yeah. we move on? Yeah, so Jones uh, moved to Oregon in 2018, and his first year teaching at Veritas, which is the school I've been at since kindergarten, it's a K-12 classical Christian school. 
Um, so his first year there was my freshman year. Um, and I had just stopped playing baseball. I didn't want to play during high school. I just wanted to focus more on school and stuff. And then here comes town ball. Um, and I loved it. I, I fell in love with it the first time I played. Um, so, uh, since then I became, uh, the president at the end of that school year, taking over from Lucian. Um, and then I was president through my sophomore year and junior year. Uh, and then I, uh, <laughs> then I, uh, and now vice president this year, I decided to give another guy, um, the chance to be president and, uh, probably, and more show him how to do it while I'm still here so I can pass the torch. But, um, yeah, I've loved, I've loved town ball. Um, I play it every opportunity I can. And yeah, it's great. Yeah. Thank you, Tristan. Um, just, just a quick recap of things that have happened this year. Um, this has been quite a awesome year for the sport um, because there's just been a lot of things that have happened. Um, at the beginning of the year, we started playing in the pavilion at, at Veritas. Uh, it was a new structure that had been built outside. Um, it, so it, it, there's no walls, there's just pillars, but it's covered up top. So, you know, in January when it's still cold outside, um, you know, we would just play with a with a different ball that could get wet, and uh, we would we we played I think probably six games or so between January and May in that pavilion, and uh, we got a lot more newcomers in that season of play. We got people from George Fox to come out. I think we probably got even a bigger crowd from Veritas, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and uh, yeah, Jones, uh, what? are the oh jimmy just said okay thank you jimmy um jones what are the highlights from this last year that we want to remember from veritas just for the whole sport you know veritas um meeting elijah getting videos taken the stuff with the balls can we watch the that the logo watch that together right now oh yeah there we go it's the ball <laughs> yep it's beautiful. how many how many different ball manufacturers do you guys work with? Is it like one ball or ten balls? I don't know. Uh, just one. 